I realize that most of the time when I make a video, it's always about the cool stuff or the action shots that now I'm able to do. Going down the ramp, mowing the lawn, riding my bicycle, taking a ride on my I motorcycle. I got thinking about that. A lot of times what we see on TV or news are all these positive accomplishments that amputees are able to do. Um, but the reality is, there's some amputees that aren't able to do that kind of thing. There's a lot hidden behind the scenes when you see an amputee strive and reach a goal and be able to accomplish something really wonderful. Uh, that's awesome. But it also means that they've spent a lot of time usually uh, behind the scenes preparing and working and enduring a lot of things that other people aren't even aware of. One of those things that amputees deal with is phantom pain. Now, uh, from the very beginning, uh, I had phantom sensations. Um, although I have a below the knee amputation, uh, from the very beginning, at times I can feel my foot. It fe especially if I have my prosthesis on. It sort of feels like I really have a foot. Now I can't wiggle the toes, um, but mentally my mind says, you've got a foot down there, uh, which is helpful. <laughs> it makes you a little bit more confident in wearing the prosthesis, but at the same time, um, there's also the dark side of that, and that is phantom pain. It's one thing sensing that you have a foot, it's another thing to encounter For pain. the most part, I've not had too much pain. Uh, a lot of amputees experience quite a bit, and uh, they are on medication. Uh, so far, I haven't had to take medication to control my phantom pains, although in the last two to three months, uh, my pain level has increased such that next week I have a doctor's appointment to go ahead and talk to my physical rehab doctor about having some medication prescribed because um, my prosthesis, I I'm not able to use it. There's too much pain with walking. And at first we thought it was the way the prosthesis was fitting and it had nothing to do with my leg, but now we realize that although it might have something to do with the prosthesis, most of it deals with nerve pains. When you have your leg amputated, obviously the bones get cut off and the skin is cut off um, and the muscles are cut, but the nerve endings are also cut and um, they end up causing the problems because your body is used to taking a signal from the nerve say down in your foot and sending the message on up to your brain and the nerve has been cut but your brain has had many years experience of knowing that when that part of the nerve ending signals me, that means this part of the body hurts. So uh, oftentimes when I have nerve pain, um, what I feel is something has crushed my toes or I feel like I've sprained my ankle or broke my ankle. Um, Sometimes I feel like there's a metal wire that somebody's wrapped around my ankle and they're just twisting it a little bit tighter and it's sort of cutting in to the leg. Um, although uh, it's obvious, I don't have an ankle, I don't have toes, I don't have my foot, but my body takes those messages of those nerve endings that get a, maybe a little irritated and translates that up to my mind, uh, it can be very painful. A lot of times what I experience and many amputees experience is this sort of lightning bolt sensation of like lightning is shooting down through your stump and it 
hurts really badly. Um, I've been very fortunate once again unlike most amputees they have their phantom pain at night when they're in bed when it's quiet they have the leg off um, and they can't sleep at night. Um, for whatever reason my phantom pain is more during the daytime uh, so I can't stand my prosthetic being on um, and walking in it because it hurts so bad and and for the longest time it was a little bit confusing because I kept telling him the prosthetic hurts right here and I was thinking that maybe this part of the leg was bottoming out and hitting the prosthesis and it was sore and tender and I came to realize over here at the end of the fibula uh, which is right about here there's a bundle of nerves right here and if I touch it just in the right spot with the right amount of pressure it sends this electrical shock across the front of my leg and, and I realized that most of the pain that I thought that I've been having because of poor fit in my prosthesis very well may be the nerve pain that is uh, driving me a little Please insane. Try a number of different techniques to calm the nerves and help uh, with nerve pain. None of them work all the time. Some things seem to work better than others for some people, but it seems like it doesn't work every time that you need it. So sometimes uh, if you rub or massage the leg or pat it uh, where it's hurting, that sometimes can help ease the nerve pain. Uh, putting a heating pad on it or alternately uh, also putting an ice pack on the leg can help. Uh, one of the sort of dangers of an ice pack is oftentimes it seems like you get the leg cold enough for the nerves to settle down and your leg feels cold for hours afterwards. Even though you don't have the ice pack on it anymore, it just feels like the ice pack is still there. So um, there's sort of this trade-off. It starts to hurt because your leg feels so cold and your foot feels extremely frozen. Um, although you don't have a foot, but nerve pain has gone. So sometimes you have to make these trade-offs. Obviously, ibuprofen or Tylenol can sometimes help. And as I mentioned before, there are prescription level drugs uh, that can help. But oftentimes there's a trade-off between how uh, difficult it makes you to focus. Maybe you get sleepy, those kind of things. Um, you just feel a little drugged out. So there's always a trade-off with this nerve Just pain. what I want to get across in this video is the fact that although when I'm out and about everything looks good, it doesn't mean that life is easy and fine 24-7. Uh, there are a number of different difficulties that have to be overcome. And one of those is this idea of phantom pain.